Okay, so chapter 8, Ragnarok, or however. Ragnarok was Lupino's private nightclub, a den of drugs built into an old theater. I knew what waited inside. V had junkies ready to explode in random acts of senseless violence, and Lupino's goon squad, the worst stone cold killers this side of hell. Ragnarok was as inviting as a headache, flickering and flashing to a machine gun beat. The belly of a nightclub was a gothic theme park that began with bondage games and led to the nasty stuff from there. As subtle with its dark message as a cop killer bullet through the heart. Like father, like son. Just like Jack Lupino. Okay, before we start this part, I wanna explain something. You may notice some, I don't know, some splitting in video before this loading screen for this part uh, that is because the game was buried and after we killed that guy I was playing for 4 or 5 minutes on that same map so I didn't hit any loading screen and I was stuck there so I needed to I needed to try uh, to actually to reload the whole chapter yeah chapter no it's chapter 1 still or act 1 I don't even remember so I I needed to play whole thing again for 15 or 20 minutes and I didn't want to record that one but anything, well, uh, I mean, uh, the change is what only in that loading screen so I killed that guy and I didn't get loading screen so I needed to do that again and here we go now I may have, uh, um, I don't know, different items uh, more bullets or less, but yeah, except that I didn't change anything and let's see, okay, we need to go here apparently, I didn't even notice this one oh god, more of those guys here and yeah, we're now still going, I mean the book had never been a bestseller now we're going in this bar and someone is there gonna take my shotgun so sorry I'm a little bit confused I'm kind of in rush because I was playing that thing whole again and I was really angry but at least now we're good to go okay wow what the hell was that okay at least he's now going down and wow so that was a bastard with that grenade I'm gonna play on safe here. We have a lot of those guys here, so okay, this gun is really useful on a long distance. And okay, let's see. I have something to do here. Yeah. Given the setting, I was surprised to find that somebody had been passing time reading. The paperback was entitled "The Age of Murder and Storm." The blurb on the back mentioned Norse mythos and Ragnarok. The end of a Viking world with a terrible winter that covered the earth in ice, when vile crimes were rampant and all humanity lost. I could see how somebody impressionable might get it into their head that we were at the end of time. I was also beginning to see what the nightclub and its owner were all about. Okay, Max. I think that we killed everyone there, but I'm gonna go still with those Ingrams. Look safe to me. Yeah, maybe not. So they have those cocktails up there. They're having some party. Okay, and that one is going right in me. Actually, that was close. Didn't we kill that one, so... Yeah, we're good to go. It's locked, damn. Okay. Wow. Just wow. And more of those guys. What the hell is he wearing? Don't really know. Like Matrix clothes or something. And he killed us. Amazing. Yeah, scream like a little girl. Okay, anything like painkillers here? Nope. Maybe here? Really doubt. Except that one. Pretty much nothing, so... 
let's go here. Oh god, I just knew it. They're expecting me, so... Oh man, this wasn't the smart thing to do, I mean, to run in this room. Okay, come on, come on, okay. Okay, nice. After all, I'm not, I'm not that bad. I see some painkiller there. Nice. More shotgun ammo. And what the hell is that on that wall? Books on the occult have been piled on the table. Okay, do we really need to read that one? I don't think so. Yeah, nice try, dude. Hmm. Okay. Oh god, more of those. Okay, I'm gonna try first time. Maybe I could die, but... Oh yeah, nice. With shotgun. And ah! Uh, oh god. I killed him. I didn't expect that I'm gonna be able to do that on long distance, but nice. Pain killers, cocktails... I'm ready for party. <laughs> Hmm, it's locked. Okay. Well, I don't see other way then. More painkillers. I almost missed those. Maybe I don't need to go on the other side. Wait, I came from... There, I guess. Yeah, so we need to go here. Let's use those painkillers. Oh god. Let's try to kill those, come on. Nice. And what the hell is this place? I mean, it's DJ's path, obviously, but... Do I need to go down there? Really doubt. Probably this door. Uh, hopefully, yeah, definitely here. Okay, then. I hear a couple guys here though, they killed that one, don't know why, but they don't know why they killed me, so let's do the once, one more time actually, I'm gonna throw this cocktail, I'm gonna make some party for them then. Can't hear anyone, oh god. Okay, shotgun. One more guy. Painkillers. Oh, damn it. Are you kidding me? Wow, that really doesn't help us. Or, okay. I'm not complaining. That was nice. And, damn it, you can't him hit him from there but I came from here so nice let's see can we find anything useful before we go anywhere further or fuck okay I don't really like this two guys there so I'm gonna try to get closer okay at least we killed him Two more guys. One is going down, and that one has a shotgun, so. Wow! They killed each other. Amazing. Nice. I don't really need to use that slow motion every single time. But I don't know. I was always using that, so. Okay, seems clean. Oh god, it's not clean at all. Lucky for us that he missed that one. And more of those bastards here. Whole army. Do like 60. More than 600 guys here. I'm gonna just freaking run and kill every single of those, which I did. Oh god, again. I hate snow in this game. 
Wow, how I don't remember this one at all. Okay, hopefully we can pass this without falling. Even though I thought that I saw something here, but apparently nope. Okay, obviously here. I really don't remember this part. Can't go in though. I guess we will find our way on harder. On harder way. <laughs> okay, hopefully we are here. Okay, he's going down. Oh god. Didn't expect too many guys. We can hit him from here. Nope, we can't. See, we are gonna wait. Those bastards here. One is going down. Second down. Nice. That is how he rolls. It's Max Payne after all. Okay. Oh god. Get those dudes with black, black uniforms. Like ninja or something. Okay, we can go down, but painkillers or painkillers. I'm not leaving those. Aha! Uh -huh. Nice. Oh god, how many? Near 10 guys on one spot. Awesome. Okay, can we make some show here? Ah, damn it, we can't. Okay, I actually can press here something. Hmm. Oh god. Well, I'm not surprised with those guys. Okay, let's go slowly. Just be patient, everyone is going to die. Okay, let's go here. Nope, nothing. Maybe we can find something, I do remember that. We had something here, like a labyrinth. Yeah, definitely. Okay, we opened that one. Second one. Wait, the first one isn't though. Or it is. Hmm. Okay, let's go. Maybe. Maybe we did that. A proper way. Yes, we did. Yeah, nice try with that grenade. Okay. Yeah, definitely. This is the right way to go. But we need to be really careful here. Actually, that was easy. <laughs> and still in part 1, chapter 9, an Empire of Evil. The backstage area led to Lupino's inner sanctum. The hot air inside was like an invisible wall, thick with incense and something else. A sickly sweet smell that made you gag. This was the rotten core of the Big Apple. Lupino lurked somewhere ahead, like a spider at the center of his web, waiting. The vapors in the air started to make my head swim. Torn pieces of a letter lay scattered on the sofa. Wow, this is creepy. Let's see, can we do something here? Nope. No, we can't. He said some letter on sofa. Fortunately, nothing. Maybe on the other one? Yes. Punchinello had threatened Lupino in writing. The note had been torn to pieces, bloody fingerprints all over them. Don't want you to think that one of my boys is not playing with a full deck. Shape up, Jack. We are running a business here. I'd hate to send the trio to strong arm you. The trio were the Don's notorious henchmen. It was obvious that Lupino hadn't been intimidated by the threat. Okay then, let's continue. Lupino's notes covered the table. 
Jack Lapino was crazy, all right. The table was scattered with notes of demented arcane nonsense written in rusty blood, a mishmash list of demons, devils, and dark gods evoked. Beelzebub! Asmodeus! Baphomet! Lucifer! Loki! Chitulu! Lilith! Hela! Blood given to you all. He was after that old Faustian deal. Your soul for power and fortune. Just sign on the dotted line with your blood. Okay. Lupino's notebook lay on the pedestal. For fucking sake. Jack Lupino was crazy, all right. Mythic wolves let loose to devour the sun and the moon. Lupino is the wolf. I'm Mr. Beast. The big bad Fenris wolf. I'm the end of the world man. Wearing the flesh of fallen angels. After Y2K, the end of the world had become a cliche. But who was I to talk? A brooding underdog Avenger alone against an empire of evil, out to right a grave injustice. Everything was subjective. There were only personal apocalypses. Nothing is a cliche when it's happening to you. Okay then. Finally we can proceed, but... We have some really crazy dude here. I guess it's gonna be boss fight. It's gonna be hell of a fight. <laughs> wow. Wow, I don't really remember this. Okay, someone killed me. Don't even know from there. Aha. Uh -huh. We have one guy there. We're destroying those cocktails. Okay, that dude died there. Can we find? Wow, they're going down, I guess. It's coming. You have Maybe I can hide and wait, or I can't. It's now. I will rise to her side. Can't really see those guys. Okay, he's going down. Oh god, I saw him now. Come on, one more time. Hopefully, he's going dead. Nice. I'm gonna save here. Okay, let's see how many. Oh god, I didn't even not see him. Nice. Okay, he's going down. Oh man. Okay, those painkillers saved my ass. I'm gonna save. Okay, we have another dude there. He's going down. Two more are up there. Wow, how many guys? Okay, this is now weird. I think, yeah, we're good to go from here. So now I need to kill those two guys there. Hopefully I can do that. Okay, one is down. Another one is coming. Only four bullets though. I can't see him, but clearly he's somewhere there. And after that one, yeah, we need to kill that one which is throwing those cocktails on our on us. That should be now. Oh, more of those guys. Oh damn it, I'm gonna take my pistols then. Okay, he died. 
Wow. Whole freaking army is there. Come on. Today. Nice. And now it's time for boss fight. I had known there'd have to be a catch in it somewhere, and this one was the Empire State Building of catches. Levino was pumped up and dying to go 15 rounds with a mutant alligator. And then he started this spooky monkey talk, straight from a bad dream. Mine. I have tasted the flesh of fallen angels. Wow, he's really crazy. Like really, really crazy. So I can only three guys. I hope that I could do that without too much problems. Let's see. Although, except those grenades, I don't see how I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna be fast here. Oh god, they got me. Nice. Killed one guy. He's throwing those cocktails there. He's killed, I'm gonna save. And let's go all the time, I'm gonna die that fast. Okay, come on, a couple more times, I hope. Nice. Pino finally went down. I wanted to make real sure he'd stay that way. V was a bad monster. Turned them into friggin' zombie demons <laughs> from outer space. I think he's dead already. Huh? And that's when it happened. But dead or not, you've got the wrong guy. In stepped this knockout femme fatale holding a gun to my face. I returned the favor. Part 2, cold day in hell, so finally we were going in part 2, but... Lisa Punchinello. Lisa Punchinello was the Don's wife. Mona Sachs. Lisa's evil twin. Your safety's off, evil twin. You might hurt someone with that gun of yours. Lisa's the damsel in distress. I'm the professional. I'd blow you away without batting an eye. Sure. And you can check out my credentials splattered all over this joint. Jack couldn't have framed you. Not the state he was in. We're after the same slime bag. Angelo Quincinello is the one who murdered your friend and framed you with it. You know this for a fact. I've got my sources. I don't have a clue these days. I just shoot them as they come. Who put a contract on the Archfiend? This one's mine. I hate the guts of that sadistic wife beater. Why not pool our bullets for this one? I thought you'd never ask. My finger was starting to twitch. How do you like your whiskey? I'm easy. As wow. long as you don't try to slip me a Mickey. You're a real Don't angel, Don't remember Max. this conversation. It was good stuff. Tasted sweet as honey going down. Nothing personal. Can't risk you going berserk and getting Lisa killed. Oh gosh, she drugged us. The nightmare was always the same. Violent shapes moving in darkness, old and ugly. The killer's mad laughter was a riddle filled with wicked innuendo. Oh, those screams. Somewhere, the baby was crying. So this is his nightmare, and we're gonna see this one in next part. So we're gonna split up here, and we will continue soon. Stay tuned for more, guys. Hopefully, you're enjoying.